still young, but they treat me like the OG. And they want to the see on me, I swear these bitches nosy. Said he put some money on my head, I guess we gon' see. I won't put no money on this head, my niggas owe me. I gotta be single for. Good morning, you guys. Happy, happy Tuesday. So your girl is trying again to get her life together. That's what we're doing. Take two on getting her life together. But anyway, I just did my makeup. We're running late to work. Every time I do my makeup, we're running late. So if it's a makeup day, it's a late day. It's a late day. But anyway, I saw this salmon, um, what was it? It was like a salmon bagel at that place that we went to for brunch that played us and I wanted to try it and I was like ooh salmon you know I just kind of want to expand my little taste palette or whatever and I was like no we're not gonna get salmon I'm going to the stairs hold on let me take y'all to the kitchen so anyway I was like I do not know like what salmon on a bagel is gonna be like especially if it's raw but I didn't know that it's not raw <laughs> it just looks raw so I want to try it even more I'm so scared but I'm trying to get healthier we're getting healthier we're focusing and thinking about like what we're putting in our body so yeah this bagel is only 110 calories I got the thin sliced bagels this one I honestly probably should only make myself one even though it's like a thin one I should probably make myself one but anyway this is the salmon slices that I got so this side is pepper then we have traditional and dill so I got the flavored ones because I'm extra y'all um it's eight o'clock it's eight ten and I'm over here trying to make bagels. I'm not even like dressed. I'm kind of done with my makeup. Okay, because I'm a child. <laughs> I did the bagel and then literally like that piece right there. Like my heart is beating fast. <laughs> It honestly tastes like nothing. I also did an onion and chive cream tea cheese. So I feel like that's kind of throwing off the taste a little bit. Uh, it's not bad at all. It's actually pretty good. So I decided to wear this outfit today. You guys have saw this so many times when we were doing the loan signing business. So yeah, we're out of here. Okay, you guys, we are officially out the house. So I think we're gonna make it to work on time. So yeah, last or last night, yesterday I did not make it to work on time. I literally showed up at like 9.30. I didn't really start work until like an hour later. So yeah, we're gonna do better today and we're gonna do better the rest of this week because we got a lot more work added to our inventory. So I know how last time I was kind of complaining about like how they just added like more claims to our inventory when I first got out of training. Well, they done did it again. They did it again and on Friday I was really, really upset about it. But I'm like, you know what, Darnisha? This is just an opportunity to prove like your skill set, like how hard of a worker you can be. So let's just turn it around and just be positive about the situation and like let's just crank it out and just show that you are that girl. So I'm kind of excited just to even prove to myself that I'm able to, you know, turn 133 claims and just like kind of knock them out because everybody is like, oh, I got a hundred in this amount and then they act like they can't function, which is very hard. But at the same time, I feel like I can do it. So we can go ahead and go ahead and knock out these claims and just like work, 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 work. So that is what we're up to 
this Tuesday morning is just keeping a positive, <laughs> just keeping a positive spin on this because it is what it is at this point. There's nothing we can do about it. They gave it to us, it's ours. We're gonna own it. Yeah. So anyway, I guess I will talk to you guys once I get to work. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, feel me young, but they treat me like an OG. And they want to the tea on me, I swear these bitches nosy. Said he put some money on my head, I guess we gon' see. I won't put no money on this here, my niggas owe me. I gotta be single for a while, you can't control me. Who no go? So currently, this is my claim count. This is how many activities I have. And then these are our activities that we have throughout the day. And these are all in red. And as you can see, I have seven pages right now. Which is about 15 people on a page. So if I have seven pages times 15. So there's about 15 people on each page. And I have seven pages. So seven times 15 is 105 people. There's no way I'm gonna be able to talk to 105 people today. It's impossible. But the goal is to zero out every day. So we're gonna try our best to move some stuff around so that we can be back on track. Hi, this is Darnisha on a recorded line. Am I speaking with Miss Lopez? <laughs> okay. So you said you got a letter in regards to the damages on your vehicle and they're saying they're not paying for it? Now, do you know which, because you have two claims on the one that I'm looking at. My claim was already paid to the shop. So if they're saying they're not able to That was not such a big deal. So she is driving a Range Rover and our guaranteed repair shops don't feel comfortable doing the repairs on that. So she has to go to Range Rover to do the repairs and she was kind of freaking out, which kind of made me freak out because I was like, I got this claim getting ready to be closed. We already paid the check. So yeah, we gotta start pretty much over from scratch. How fun. an afternoon you guys i knew better i freaking knew better when i put these shoes on this morning i knew they felt cheap i knew they felt like they came from the ten dollar shoe store for the most part we do good at the ten dollar shoe store but when i got those those was a part of that other batch that i showed y'all that i didn't really show y'all but i showed y'all with that ugly ass shoe That was a part of that batch. I knew better and I knew that shoe was flimsy and cheap as hell, but I still kept it along with the other ugly shoe that I just didn't return. I'm like, oh, it's just, it's just $10. It's not even $10 no more, it's $14. But I keep calling it a $10 shoe store. It's just $15 and now they're both cheap. I'm throwing those in the trash because I was like not even able to walk like my feet was slot girl it's just a mess some shoes is a mess i'm so mad that i attempted to wear those today i pretty much had no shoes on all day all day girl all day no shoes anyway we're off 
Well, we're not off. What am I talking about? We're off. We're on lunch. That's what we are. We're on lunch, and I'm about to go. Oh my gosh, we sliding around on the big camera. Um, I'm about to go home so I can take out dinner, and then I need to make myself something to eat for lunch because I didn't bring anything, and I don't want to buy anything because I'm really, really trying to eat healthier. Oh, I keep saying trying. We're going to eat healthier. I did really good last week. Especially considering I didn't feel like I was forcing myself to eat healthy. I felt better to like eat healthy. <clears throat> I don't know if that makes sense, but it makes sense in my mind. Anyway, let me get off this camera because I feel like I'm showing too much of where I'm at in my area already. And I can't see myself and it makes me uncomfortable. So I think we're just going to keep these samples on for the rest of the day. Oh my gosh. God, it feels it feels so weird trying to vlog on this big ass camera again because I haven't vlogged on my big camera in so long and it's so obvious because I was vlogging at work obviously and I had my camera on the desk and one of my coworkers was like, Oh, that's a big gaudy camera. What are you doing? <laughs> Mind your business. You in my business. Don't do that. <gasps> okay, this is not healthy. What? That's the universe telling me, like, put it back. It's not healthy whatsoever, but this is, like, the quickest thing I'm going to be able to eat on my lunch break, right? Oh, I left the battery downstairs. Okay. Well, anyway. I came home just to take out lunch, I mean, not lunch, dinner for tonight. So the kids are gonna eat chicken, fried chicken and waffles. I told y'all, we I literally cook the same thing when the kids are here. So that is what they're eating. I'm taking them out with some chicken wings. And then I have these Belgian waffles, which, which taste so good, by the way. I don't know if you've ever had them. But they're these. I got these from Walmart and they're literally so freaking good. So I'm gonna make the kids that waffle with the chicken. And then for me and Aisha, I'm making us chicken breast or stuffed chicken. I don't know what you call it, but that's what I'm making now. But anyway, I just wanted to give y'all a quick little update, mini like lunch check in. But I will see you guys after we get off of work. This is Star Nation. I'm conducting a recorded interview with the date is July 26, 2022, and the time is currently 2 11 p.m. Mountain Standard Time. Do you understand that this interview is being recorded? And do I have your permission to do so? Okay, can you state your name for the record and spell your last name? And then your date of birth? And then you can take me about 10 seconds prior to the accident and just kind of walk me through what happened. Anyway, I just got off of work and I just got home. But there is still some things that I wanted to finish up that I wasn't able to get done while I was at work. So I'm going to charge my laptop up so I can get some of the things that I wasn't able to do. So from home like i'm able to do like estimates um if we got a quote i can just pay the body shop i've kind of been slacking on doing those because i've been getting calls from like the driver saying oh i never been to the body shop or my car is not getting repaired and i don't send payment to the body shop and i'm freaking out so i haven't been sending estimates but i talked to my manager today and she was like that's the process so i'm just gonna go ahead and do that and then depending on what state, so this is so different than like our Uber claims. Cause when I did Uber, I did not have to do any of this stuff, like send out letters. But depending on what state you're in, say we've been working on your claim for 45 days and the state requires like a 30 day follow up for each 
state and by law we have to get that out within that time frame just letting them know like hey we're still working on your estimate so we need a little bit more time to get this resolved so i have to send out those letters which i have a lot of those letters so i'm going to go ahead and do those and then i have a few claims where we're not at fault the other driver is at fault and i haven't contacted the other insurance so i need to write like notes in my spreadsheet so that i can make that like a priority tomorrow is to follow up with the other um adjusters to see where they are in their liability decision so that's gonna be the plan for tonight but obviously i'm not gonna continue to bore y'all with work i just wanted to let y'all know what the vibe was i'm actually about to take this off and then i'm about to start cooking dinner um so dinner is cooking while i'm working and Y'all, with this job, I realized like a lot of this requires me to work at home. Like you have to dedicate a lot of your time to this. And when I first started working, I was like, I'm not going to be doing no overtime. I'm not going to be doing this. I'm not going to be doing that. But in order to stay above water, you have to. So it's either you're going to do it or you're going to constantly come to work and drown. And I'm not that person. I don't want to come to work and drown every day. So your girl gonna be working y'all that chicken was so freaking good it was so 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 good but i'm gonna take my makeup off because i've been having it on long enough and i feel like i'm wearing a mask so i'm about to take that off and then shower and just get ready for tomorrow tomorrow i'm going back to the gym so let's hope okay we're not gonna say that we're gonna get up on time tomorrow and go to the gym getting back on track like that is like what i've been trying to do for like these last couple months is literally just getting my life back on track and just getting back to me in a happier place so yeah but anyway i'm about to finish shaking off my makeup and then i'm gonna show y'all these journals that i've been working on like my manifestation journal and my daily journal because I think they're such good journals and then we'll go ahead and end this vlog off but yeah okay so I just took off all my makeup off my face and then I wanted to talk about my wellness journal which I've really really been liking lately so anyway it is literally this wellness journal here and then it has on this page it has like your weekly like what you're eating for the week like you can map out i really like feel like i have more of better eating habits if i'm literally like write down what i'm gonna eat for the week my face looks so dry and i feel like i look so dead but whatever and then it has like your reminders if you have like doctor's appointments and just like maybe like a little to-do list for the week and then it has like your habits that you want to achieve, like your goals, and then rewards for meeting those goals. I think it's important to reward yourself after like achieving like small goals as well. Like I really, really like that part of the book. And that's just like your weekly, like weekly overview. And then they have like the daily and it has like the daily, like what your mood is and then you write something and then it has i just really really love this journal and then it have acts of self-care how many times i said i like this journal acts of self-care acts of kindness lessons learned today today i am grateful for and daily affirmations like it is a beautiful journal so i've been kind of writing in that a little bit more not as much as i would like but i've been def definitely trying to like stay like on top of it and mainly just so i can keep track of my moods and how i'm feeling and i ain't gonna lie last week was just like a blah week for the most part like every day was like blah 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 like i probably had like one happy day 
and I knew that was because my cycle was coming so I was just very very moody so that was last week this is my new manifestation journal it's this blue journal and it has like it just I feel like it's just perfect like it's perfect for writing your dreams down like it has the moon the stars i love that it has like this gold paper i just really really love this journal as well and it's just obviously just you know lined paper and then this kind of feels like a suede i don't know it's very very interesting so i really like this journal i've only written in it once so far and then to be completely honest like i only wrote, wrote in it once because i want this journal to go a certain way being picky and i kind of want to like in the beginning of the journal like kind of have like what what board is it what am i trying to think of mm. Like a goal board. I can't think of what it's called right now. But like a goal board. When I, if I think of what the hell I'm trying to say, I'll just put it here. But yeah, I want to put like pictures and things that I'm trying to manifest in the inside here. And then just things that I kind of want to work on. So I just want this book to be a certain way. So I'm just being picky. But anyway, these are my journals. I'm about to write in my journals for a little bit. Shower, get ready for tomorrow and go to bed. So so yeah i just wanted to end this video off right you guys so i'll see you tomorrow bye